Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to the Two Prophets program with Edward D. McKinney. Today is May 24th, 2009. I am speaking from Big Sky, Montana, the mountain of God. Today's topic is part four about events of 2012 and the two witnesses. The title for this part is 666, The Mark of the Beast, and Your Key to Heaven. Points I will make are the two witnesses will reveal the real mark of the beast. And the real mark of the beast is your key to prophetic understanding, and it is the doorway to heaven for you. How did God lock up prophecy in order to seal mankind out? Simply stated, God sealed mankind out of prophecy by switching the numbers 666 for the real mark of the beast. After he made the switch, mankind was sealed out of prophecy because the identity of the real mark of the beast is the only key that unlocks the doors of prophecy. How did God keep the key of prophecy out of the hands of mankind for over 2,000 years? When God told the prophets Daniel and John that their books would be locked up until the end time, he intended to hide the key until the two witnesses. At a precise time in world history, just before the return of Jesus Christ, he would hand that key to the two witnesses. They would use it to unseal prophecies of Daniel and Revelation one by one until they knew all about the mark, the beast, and Babylon. Once they understood these subjects very well, they would begin to teach others. Their method of teaching is by a book. They were destined to write a book that finally unlocks or unseals prophecies in Daniel and Revelation. This is the book that will horrify the religious establishment. This book will overturn the money changers in the temple. The natural response of modern-day scribes Pharisees and money changers in the temple will be to plan the death of the real two witnesses of God. So we see an almost identical repeat of the ministry of Jesus Christ in important respects. The religious establishment will again murder Jesus Christ and for the very same reasons. This is, in a real sense, the second crucifixion of Jesus Christ. And that is why Jews celebrated two Passovers every year. Jesus Christ, who now works through his two witnesses in our time, will be sacrificed a second time when the two witnesses are murdered. And when the religious religious establishment does this, they have absolutely no chance for eternal life because it is impossible to crucify Jesus a second time and receive eternal life, Hebrews 6, 4 through 6. How do the real two witnesses get you, in particular, Eternal life at the resurrection. Jesus explained how essential the two witnesses are for the resurrection. Remember that he said that he would knock at your door, Revelations 3.20. Now wait a minute. I thought Jesus was going to return like lightning in the sky for everybody to see. He will come that way. But before he does, he will first do a quiet work through his two witnesses that is like a gentle knock on your door. The two witnesses are so gentle 
They are quiet like burglars are quiet. Remember that Jesus said that he would come like a thief in the night so quietly. Revelation 3.3 3. If you do not answer the door for the quiet two witnesses, you have not opened the door for Jesus Christ and you have therefore rejected eternal life. If you are vigilantly preparing for the second coming of Jesus, you will be up and awake. You will have your oil lamp burning brightly. Oil represents prophetic understanding that only comes from God's two witnesses. Get to your door quickly and open it. Then Jesus said, he will share a meal with you. That meal is the most important meal that you will ever eat. It is a meal that is from God through his two witnesses. It is the book of unsealed prophecies by the real two witnesses. Revelation 11.6 After the meal of unsealed prophecy which is served to you only by the two prophets, you will shine with the light of prophetic understanding and use it to bring your loved ones to the resurrection. Jesus will sup with you through the book of the two witnesses. The meal is not literal. It is the olive tree from the two olive trees who are the two witnesses. Remember that scripture says the two witnesses are the two olive trees. Revelation 11.4 When God designed Solomon's temple, he illustrated that nobody was going to heaven except they go through the two witnesses first. The temple had two rooms in a row. There was a doorway with double doors between the first room and the second room. The second room was the Holy of Holies. This Holy of Holies represented heaven, and the two doors were locked. Nobody except Jesus, the high priest, could enter the locked room that represented heaven, because nobody could go to heaven until they first were judged at the resurrection. Of course, Jesus went through those doors already, as our older brother, who was the first of many brethren, Romans 8:29. Those two locked doors to heaven represented the two olive trees, who are the two prophets of Revelation 11. That is why those two doors were made from olive trees. The doors were literally made of olive wood because olive trees symbolized prophets. Nobody in the end time can get through those two doors to heaven unless they are opened by the two olive trees who are the two witnesses. These two will hand the key to you that can open those two doors. Guess what that key is? It is the identity of the real Mark of the beast. There is no other way but through those two doors, and there is no other key to prophecy except the real mark of the beast. And there is nobody else in existence to whom the key was given by God except the real two witnesses. How do you get this key that opens the doors to heaven? You get the key to heaven from the two witnesses. The key unlocks the understanding you need to get to heaven. Don't you already have the information you get to heaven? Well, that is for God to decide. But it is safe to say that people who are happy to see the two witnesses murdered won't be going to heaven. Will you be happy to see the two witnesses murdered 
The Bible says the whole world will be tormented by these prophets. Revelation 11.10 That includes you unless you are a space alien. What is it about people who hate the two witnesses that will make them happy to see the murder of these two prophets? The answer is that in time people worship the beast. Nobody who worships the beast or shares his nature will go to heaven. Babylon is the world in which the beast lives because it is a predatory system that is conducive to thieves and murderers. Do you have the nature of the beast? There is only one way to tell. You have to first find out who the beast is. Then you have to examine the world of Babylon that he thrives in. I think it is safe to say that everybody worships the beast. We were all born under sin, and we all continue to sin despite our best efforts. As the Bible says, the whole world follows after the beast. So it is critical that you know all about the beast. Then you can examine yourself and know for sure how you worship the beast. You can then make the necessary changes through repentance. After you make the necessary changes, you can no longer be called a worshiper of the beast. You will then be ready for the resurrection and eternal life. How will the two witnesses help you on Judgment Day? Judgment Day is not a never-ending line of people whom God personally sentences to life or death. Instead, God has each individual decide his own fate. That is where the two witnesses come in. If a person rejects the two witnesses, he will never know what it means to worship the beast. As a result, he cannot stop worshiping the beast. He will not make the necessary changes to go to heaven. So, he will go to hell instead along with the beast and those who worship the beast. On the other hand, a person who opens the door, which is to say that he opens the two doors to the Holy of Holies, in order to sup with the two witnesses, is passing through those doors into heaven. You need to learn all about the real two witnesses and the real mark of the beast. Do not waste your time and money on unprophecy books published by the scribes, Pharisees, and money changers of our time. Our Christian bookstores are full of those kinds of books. The book we feature will clearly identify the real mark of the beast and the world leader who is the beast. This is the only book in existence that can do that for you, so you need to get it as soon as possible. Well, we are out of time for now. Thank you for tuning in. Visit our website for more information about the real Mark of the Beast, the real two witnesses, and really getting to heaven. Tune in to other exciting talks about Bible prophecy at blogtalkradio.com slash edward dash mckinney. Until next time, friends, this is Edward D. McKinney with twoprophets.org.